Hey, what's going on, guys? Today we're talking about the best-selling cards under five dollars or less. It's the Penny Stock Yu-Gi-Oh Market Watch. It's actually the Yu-Gi-Oh Penny Stock Market Watch. Uh, but that being said, let's just jump right into it. Megaton stuff, doing Megaton stuff. DPE might be over five dollars soon. Just gonna look out for that. Small World only has one other really good printing. Just gonna look out for that. Um, I'll still do, even though I've been talking about these like since they've come out, because there's just so much value in them. Like. I'm still going to do, like, a brief overview of all of the cards that I think are really good. Like, even, like, Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I don't think it's going to be, like, a huge, like, $50 chase card. But it is a really good stun card. So, just be on the lookout for that. Um, and this goes, obviously, without saying. The top 9 best, wait, 10, 11, yeah, we'll go there. 11 of the top. What are the three, six, nine, twelve? Yeah, eleven of the top twelve selling cards from the Megatons, uh, or excuse me, eleven of the top ten of the eleven best selling cards under five dollars or less are all from the Megatons. If I can finally uh, get the whole thought together, point that I'm trying to make with that, even if you just don't even open up the tins, like if you just get two or three of them, like I said. I understand these, you know, these are the penny stocks and megatons are like anywhere from twenty to twenty five dollars, depending on where you get them from, and and maybe spending you know seventy five dollars on just Yu Gi Oh, hoping that it'll eventually turn into a hundred or hundred fifty dollars, might not be in the budget right now, but there's just an insane amount of value in this, and I don't know when they're gonna get reprinted again, um, so just be on the lookout for that. Um, Rivalry of the Warlords, Drawn Lock Bird, Dimension Shifter from the um megatons is interesting um the reason i say it's interesting is because the structure deck one um isn't here um but the structure deck one for ghost belt is um i think that the thing with these shifter right now there's just very there's not a lot of decks that can really i mean there's floundries um like grand maju and crystal beast those are the best three decks i could think of that can also run dimension shifter and I just don't think that that's enough to be pushing this card up in value. Uh, even though it hurts tier elements a lot. Um, it hurts other decks too, but it doesn't really hurt Runic. I don't know. Does Runic run? Can Runic run D-Shifter? I feel like it can't. Um, but there's a lot of like Mystic Mind stun decks out there that don't really care that all their cards get banished. Um, and I think that's why we were also seeing Ghost Bell come out. Because Ghost Bell... Ghost Bell's a lot like Ghost... Or excuse me, like Ash Blossom. Where it's just very like generically good like it's it's every game at some point like if that card's in your side deck or in your main deck you're going to hit you're going to be using it a lot is it going to be high impact i'm not sure it depends on the meta it depends on what you face but you are going to be hitting it a lot um so just keep that in mind storm the cloak we're doing storm the cloak thing i want to take a look at this real quick um I do want to say, I don't know who was here when I was talking about Like, I don't know if you guys saw when I was talking about this card. Um, and I bought a whole bunch of them at $0.25. Cents, um, and now those are gone. I haven't gotten that pack yet, though. And there's been a lot of sellers doing that. If that happens, like, if it comes out, like, I end up getting a refund for that, I'm just going to do a complete separate video on that. Especially considering, like, I believe like, eBay owns TCG Player, right? Those are the... I understand there's like Troll and Toad and there's like uh, Ideal 808. Right? Is that, is that, I think that's what it's called. Um, there's other places to get your cards from. But like, as far as like random individual person who has like anywhere from 100 to 1,000 cards, selling to another person who just needs one specific card, usually like TCG, eBay, like those are the places to get those. And the fact of the matter is, is like now that they're together, if, if one isn't stopping that... They're both not. And so if like the only real place you can get individual cards are places where like, oh, I posted this for a dollar, but now it's worth five dollars and you bought 13 copies at a dollar. So I'm giving you a $13 refund and I'm cool. That doesn't really sit with me super well. Like I said, it hasn't happened yet. I got to check the mail again uh, today, but like, I don't know. I don't know if I don't get it. 
I would say that, like I said, if I get a refund, because like I said, I, and that's why I bought it uh, during the watch, like during the video, so people could have like actual, and I'll even like edit it out, like, hey, see, this was this was me buying this card from this person at this price, and this is them giving me a refund. If that's going to happen, and it's not like I meant to, I was like trying to bait them, or I'm trying to trap them, right? I was genuinely trying to get this as a dollar card. I was trying to get it at 25 cents each. It's a huge deal, right? And it's not on me that that person has it posted. I have a lot of cards in my own shop, Cards of Connor. If you ever see it on TCG Player, shop from Cards of Connor um, that are at 25 cents, right? Or I've had a lot of cards where like something random will happen with the ban list or a reprint and a bunch of like versions of my cards will just be sold. Right. And I'll look and be like, what happened? Oh, I, you know, I sold it at a lower price. I'm not just going to, Hey, um, so this, I, I had it selling for a dollar 50 and now it's $2. Here's your refund back. I, I'm going to sell it at $2 now. That's just not, I don't know. I understand you can leave negative feedback. That's all you can do. And I just don't, I, I mean, granted also too, I don't know how to fix that, but thank you for coming to my Ted talk. And I'll talk about this more too. If it happens, it hasn't happened yet. So I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to like lean towards pessimism, but it is just something I've been hearing a lot about on Yu-Gi-Oh! Twitter, on, on YouTube, just people doing that. Uh, and I just want to get my two cents on it a little bit in this video and then potentially in a later video if that happens. Um, a big reason too though, not a lot has changed here with these penny stocks. Interesting. <laughs> what happens? On the third ban list? No. Yes. That is when the ban list became live. But uh, I have this. Oh, okay. That's why. You can special summon the scarf in, and if you do add. Okay. That's really, really fantastic, actually. That's a really good card. Um, yeah. I think that. Um. Oh, card hasn't even been out for that long. I think, like, overall, this is a solid investment. Because it is starting to near the high end of the $5 mark. Um, starting to, I mean, literally on the first page, right? It's already past a dollar. Like, these are all holding the line at four ninety nine. dollars Once these are gone, um, you got this one at $4.99 shipping. Um, and then, boom. You're immediately at 507, 524, and um, second page, we're still in the, the mid five tier. Now we're already starting to hit $6 on the third page. So this is definitely a solid investment. Um, I just don't, I think we've hit the ceiling, at least right now. Maybe there might be some new support, but this archetype just got a whole bunch of support this year. Like the, the shark, you know, level four, rank four spam just got a whole bunch of support. Um, it got a really new, uh, good orc type in Marinus. Um, Gishi cards came back. Uh, there's just a lot. There's a lot that's going on with this specific archetype. And like a Gishki stuff. Oh, that's right. I forgot the Gishki stuff's coming out later. I don't know. It's interesting. It's interesting. Um, this could also be a really good target for a reprint. Um, it is an ultra rare. So. That could go one of two ways. It could get a rarity bump as an ultimate rare, which would be insane and would make this version um, slightly less expensive, but still fine. Or it could get a common reprinting, which would make this go way down. Right. So just keep in mind on that. Um, like I said, water, just like level five, level four spam water isn't fantastic. And it did just get a whole bunch of support. And I think it's hit its ceiling. But this as an individual card absolutely fantastic it's a good buy not a great buy we'll say that yeah if i had to get a rate i don't have a rating system but if i did have one that is what i would like to do so let's talk about this card too real quick and let's actually go big with the whole danger stuff um, and i don't want to talk too much into danger um but how do you Find, is it just danger cool thing? Okay, there it goes. eBay's doing good things. Just second, that's okay. Um, for starters, danger Nessie. Danger Nessie is maybe the best one. Arguably the best one. Um, 
the Eldorado version sitting at about 385 The other two are already over $10. One, one is well over $10. Um, as far as this version is concerned, um, this is another situation where we're nearing the one, the $5 mark. This is holding on the line at $3.91. Um, but then once you get to the bottom of this page, like this could, this will probably be gone. I'm not going to buy it <laughs> like I did when we were talking about uh, Steam the Cloak. Um, but I could very easily see this being gone this time next. Or maybe even by the time you guys are watching this video. This card is just going to... This version of this card, 391 is going to be gone. Because it's a huge jump immediately to 473. Um, so if you guys do watch this video quick enough... Um, and, and you go ahead and double check to see if this is still here. Um, because as soon as those early ones are gone, we have 149 at 557, which is a lot. It's not the easiest to buy that out. Um, but hey, like I said, the other versions are one is well over $10, one is I think at $30. Um, and the thing is with this package of itself, and we got the danger core going over here. Uh, that's what I was worried about when it came to the danger core. It's just gonna be too expensive. I mean, is it? Yes, no. Just get this danger dark world deck for eighty-four dollars. Um I mean Dark World's getting a whole bunch of new support too. That's what's interesting about this. Um the card we were just looking at though is not here. So like I said, always make sure you're checking to see like what exactly is everything coming with and if you're not sure if it's good just go with your gut and tell yourself it's not good um one second i just saw what we were looking for because there's like um non-yugioh cards here which is interesting it makes sense like dangers are very it's a it's a it's a word that i could see other things uh utilizing um but yeah i got a hundred dollars for a danger core uh but there are budget i swear this isn't because this was this package has always been oh, caps um, expensive, or at least that's been the vibe. And I don't think that's still the case. Um, let's do it like this because you have Nessie sitting at around $30. To Sinochio, did I say that right? No idea if I said that right. Um, this one's pretty good. I think this one's banned, right? Or limited, excuse me. Uh, I think there's two of them that are limited, right? I forget which two. Uh, off, the, off the top of my head, I can't think of it. Um, but after that, after this one, right? We got Danger Bigfoot, um, which is also relatively cheaper. Um, and, and that's kind of the point that I'm trying to make, right? If we keep going down, we got Choop Chupacabra, Nessie. Uh, I think Jackalope is also limited, but don't quote me on that. We have an alternate art Bigfoot, which actually could end up being really, really good. Um, there's a lot of Bigfoots, though. But this alternate art, I, I think I, I got, it was kind of... People didn't like it. I know that. I remember that. But still, alternate arts are always uh, fun. Like, the further and further you get from the release of the alternate art, the uh, more expensive it gets. And then we start to get to the bad danger card. Um, and they're really, really cheap. I have a bunch of that, the field spell. Let me know if a field spell ever gets really expensive, but, um, it won't. But, point that I'm trying to make, we like to talk about penny stocks a lot, but I also like to talk about engines and different things like that, as far as just, like, a good engine to pick up. Now, as far as a $100 price mark, I guess we could have looked at it better. We'll just go right back to it. Because maybe $110 for what it is isn't that bad. Um... We'll look at... Because I think there was just two, right? Yeah, there was this one. Uh, 19 cards. There's no way that that's... Good. <laughs> There's worth no offense to this person who's selling this or anything like that. But... Like I said, always make sure you're checking the picture, checking the description. And if your gut is telling you maybe not, then don't pull the trigger. Yeah, this is one of a... I mean, like I said, this is at one. I'm pretty sure there's no Nessie still. So, don't go to eBay to get your danger cards. But when we look at, uh, especially with a huge lag, but when we look at the cards on TCG Player, um, like Thunderbird, it's like a 2 to $3 card. You could probably run three Thunderbirds. I think it's, I forget 
what the ratios even are in tier elements at this point. Um, but I think a lot of times it's like one Jackalope, one Tosunuku, how do you say it? Uh, three Nessie, right? And, and, and sometimes we see Mothman, sometimes we don't, right? The fact of the matter is, the way these cards function and how well they synergize with just so many art types, one, you're going to have fun with them. Like, if you pick up this package, it's going to be a little more expensive, I would say, on the more expensive side as far as how much you're paying per card, but you are going to have a good, solid engine. Now, this could all blow up in my face, and Konami, you know, a year from now, could announce a structure deck that has all the danger cards reprinted, which would be really, really nice if they did that, right? But there's also a strong possibility, as far as the investment side is concerned, that these cards, that, that they've been getting, you know, Eldorado, um, but we just saw Nessie, right? Uh, Eldorado for Nessie. Uh, Sacred Beasts, kind of a newer structure deck, 2019, um, Mega Um These cards, they're not like new, new, but they are newer, right? And as time goes on, if they don't get any major reprints, this is going to be, like, it's still going to be a really good package. It's not going anywhere. I don't see a situation where danger gets power crept you know what i mean and you could think oh well, everything gets power crept at some point and, and not really right like i did a video a few a months ago at this point talking about the frog engine and who just got banned on the new ban list rodent totem right because the frog engine has just always been good and danger feels like it's in that category right but let me know what you guys think what are the best selling cards under five dollars that you were looking out for let me know in those comments down below make sure you guys click that like button and show your support for the channel subscribe for even more content but most importantly of all have a good day